Hi, I'm Janet with Janet Thompson Acupuncture and Herbal Medicine here in Oakland, California, and I specialize in pediatrics and women's health. I get a lot of questions from parents wondering how I work with children, because one of the conceptions about acupuncture is that it might be painful or it might be scary, um, and a lot of parents know that A, their children don't sit still, uh, and B, their children don't really enjoy going to a medical office. And so the question is, how are you able to actually create change with my child if I feel like my child's not able to sit still and certainly is not interested in needles? And so I explained to them a little bit how I treat children. With children, uh, often you do not need to use acupuncture needles. That's actually too much stimulation for the child and can create sort of an opposite response for what you're looking for. What I tend to use is a Japanese style called Shoni Shin, and it's a style of treatment that was developed specifically for children because it's light touch, it feels good for the children, and it's incredibly effective. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about some of the tools I use uh, for kids uh, so you get a sense of what this looks like and feels like. One of the first tools I use is this one. It's a metal tool um, and I usually use the broad side for rubbing some of the acupuncture channels. So for example, on the arm, this is one of the digestive channels and in order to stimulate the channel, I can just softly rub and I'll be feeling on the skin for changes of the, of the skin texture uh, and feeling whether the child is sweating or not, whether there's heat coming off or not, and that will tell me when the child has had enough stimulation. I can also use the pointed edge um, on an angle to use pressure on some of the acupuncture points. So this is one tool. A second tool is this one, it's a little bit smaller, and this one I have a, a rounded edge that I can use for acupressure, so it's nice and soft. Uh, and then, then I have a slightly more pointed edge if I want to use it for acupressure or for tapping along the channel. Um, again, this feels really massage-like, it's comfortable, and it's, uh, it's easy for the child to relax and settle into the treatment. And these kinds of tools help the child actually enjoy the treatment and want to come back for follow-up visits, which is really important when they actually enjoy their healing. Now, for some children, uh, they have been through a lot of medical procedures. They may have gone to six to eight different doctors for diagnostic treatments. Um, they may have had surgeries. So for some children, there's a real fear of anything metal, uh, anything that looks invasive. And in those cases, I'll use rocks or quartz uh, stones in order to deliver the treatment in a way that feels friendlier for the child. So I'll often, especially if it's a young child, give them this uh, rose quartz heart to play with a little bit, and then I'll gradually start to use it on their body, and they're often more tolerant of this uh, than if they have some fear around some of the metal objects. So I can use acupressure with the edge of the heart, or I can use stroking with the broad side of the heart, again, to create change. And I know that it doesn't look like a lot of intervention. Um, children's bodies are actually really receptive, and they create change really rapidly. So even for children who may have had quite a chronic condition or seem pretty run down, um, using stroking in different parts of the body and focusing on specific acupressure points can really create a lot of change for the child. If you have additional questions about what pediatric treatments look like or whether it's right for your child, feel free to contact me directly. My phone number is 415-652-4096. And you can always contact me directly through my website, www.janetacu.com. And that's J-A-N-E-T-A-C-U.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.